as we get back to our Bible study on the Bible. Alexandria, Vatican, and Sinai. Alexandria is the, the city, the root, the branch of the Vaticanus and Syndicatus which are devil Bibles. Origin, Alexandria and Rome, the New Testament Greek, Nestle's Greek New Testament, approved and used by scholars. Written in Greek, the New Testament Greek, it's the Koan Greek, common street language, vulgar. And vulgar doesn't mean, you know, bad. It means common. It's used in the line of the King James 1611 authorized Bible. It's a spoken language of the Roman Empire in the time of Christ. The New Testament manuscripts written on papyrus codex paper not bellum, animal skin on the scrolls. This is our New Testament. Not the same as classical or literacy Greek. No classical and literacy Greek was used by philosophers and the Catholic Church. That's where we differ now. And used by modern Bibles. So yes, the King James Bible is, in the, is Greek. But God gave it to us in English. And we can go to the Greek, but we've got the 1828 Webster's Dictionary. And all these people and scholars want to do in the Greek is they try to make themselves a big show. Look who I am. And the congregation doesn't care. The new Bibles, the modern Bibles, do not translate from the Cohen Greek, which is the common street language. Scholars back the non Bible manuscripts of the Cohen Greek. The literacy classic Greek of the Bible rejectors in the world. So, the King James Bible is the vulgar Cohen Greek, the common language, the common. The root of the modern Bible and scholars is the literacy and the classic Greek. Theirs is a codex, volume, scroll, which is animal skin. The Literacy Classical Greek, Codex Vaticanus, B Manuscript, Codex Syndicatus, Syndicatus, and notice Vaticanus, Vatican. Right there, ought to tell you it's wrong. Codex Syndicatus, Sinai, that's where the law came from. It's the island manuscript. The first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And then Codex Alexandrius, A manuscript. That's what it's called, A manuscript. Codex Vaticanus is called B manuscript. It's the time of Constantine's <laughs> quote unquote conversion. It's the modern Bible source again. So we have two trees, the lively, vulgar, common, Koine, Greek, it's the King James Bible, full life, leaves, fruit, beautiful, and then we have the dead tree of the literacy, classical Greek, Vaticanus, Syndicatus, and Alexandrius. 
Alexandria of Egypt type text. 230 AD, Alexandria, Egypt. Origin. Climate of Alexandria. Orders of Constantine of the Roman Empire, 300 AD. Now anything you're going to look at Constantine of Great Era. Constantine is the Roman Catholic Church and then allowing religions to practice religion with the Roman Catholic Church. And that's practiced today in your Baptist Catholic churches. A Baptist church has no business with Christmas, Christ Mass, or Astar, or big buildings. Listen, in the Bible, we're, we, we're the Bible, we do what the Bible, they met from house to house, not big building. And again, if you got upset with me, your building is your God. And again, it's the modern Bibles that are on the market. The school. Pantheus was a Greek theologian and a sufficient, sufficient figure in the Catholic school of Alexandria around AD 180. He trained preachers and missionaries in Alexandria. That's the dead tree. Taken over by Clement 198 AD was a Christian theologian and philosopher. There's your problem. Who taught at the Catholic School of Alexander. Among his pupils were Origen and Alexander of Jerusalem. He's the founder of the Alexandrian School, the Dead Tree. He's the father of Christian philosophy. Colossians 2.8 Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. The Bible warns us. After the traditions of men, there's the Catholic Church, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. So there we have. So we've got two trees. We got a lively tree, the King James Bible, and we got a dead tree, the modern Bible. We got the lively tree of Antioch, where they were first called Christians. And we got the dead tree of Alexandria. We've got the lively Cohen Greek, the vulgar street language. And we got the dead language of literacy and classical Greek. Be forewarned when your pastor, your educator, your teacher gets up before the pulpit or his podium and quite frequently in the Greek before war. You're going to find this preacher, this teacher, Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Now, that was just a little side information. And we're going to stop right there. We're going to take these lessons slowly by slowly. And I know something. What are you talking about, Sally? What was that? It's just. It's the road. Of our Bible. It's. The highway of the King James Bible. And it is the slime pit of the modern Bible. And it's to teach you again the words of Nestle's Greek New Testament. The Cohen Greek. The common street language, the vulgar. Not harsh or 
or wrong. That's the line of the King James. Greek was the language in Rome in the time of Jesus Christ. It was written on papyrus codex paper, not the animal skin. Beware of classical or literacy Greek used by the philosophers and the Catholic. Catholic. When we say the word Catholic, be forewarned already. When we use the word Constantine, be forewarned already. And be known that Catholic and Constantine is in the Baptist churches today. We've got the Codex Vaticanus B manuscript. Codex Senecanus Aleph manuscript, first letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And the Codex Alexanius A, capital A, manuscript. We got the King James Bible, and we got the Modern Bible. We got Antioch. And we got Alexandria. We got an Alexandrian school. And them Alexandrian school today is your philosopher, is your scholars of correcting the King James Bible today throughout the world. So that's what we have for today. Not much. Still. It's information. You may not ever use this information, but there it is. You have been told. 